Hello and welcome to Pixel Magic Tutorials. I'm your host Geekman and today we're going to learn how to create a old school 90s diamond text effect in Photoshop. Now a couple of assumptions I need to get out of the way right off the bat. Number one, I am using Photoshop CC 2017. So if you're using uh, 2018, so if you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, some of the effects may not work as expected. Second, I am using Windows. So if you're using uh, a Mac, then when I say hit the control key on the keyboard, that's the command key. And when I say hit the alt key on the keyboard, that is the option key. So with all of that out of the way, let's get started by hitting control N on the keyboard. Okay. And then we'll what we're going to do is we're going to name this so 90s diamond text because that's what we're making and what our width here is going to be 3840 pixels 2160 pixels high 150 pixels per inch rgb color 8-bit background doesn't matter we're going to be covering that with an image our color profile is going to be srgb and our pixel aspect ratio is square pixels hit create and we're ready to begin now the first thing that we want to do is we want to bring in the image that we're going to use as our background, a photo of money because we got the bling going on. So I have a link in the description below where you can download the image that I'll be using, uh, the photo that I'll be using as the background to our image, and also where you can download the font that I'll be using for our text. So let's bring in that image right now, that money image, bling, 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 and let's make it nice and big. There we go. Hit enter and it is now filling up our screen. Okay, you can see it here, it's labeled money. You can change the label if you so wish. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna put a curves adjustment layer above this so that we can make kind of a, uh, a vignette for our text to sit in. Okay, so we're gonna go down here to our uh, adjustment layers and we're gonna pick curves right there. Now, the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna see the properties. If you're not seeing the properties, go up here to window and click on properties and you will see the properties show up. Okay, once you see properties, what you wanna do is grab this bar right here, right at the corner and pull it all the way down to about one third of the way from the bottom like this it makes everything nice and dark okay the next thing that you want to do is click right here next to curves which is our mask and then you want to go down here to feather and you want to make this 175 that will feather any selections that you make on the mask by 175 pixels making a nice soft blur okay then and then we're done with our properties you can close that out and then you want to make sure that you are still selected on your curves one layers mask okay if you are then you are have done the right thing the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that your foreground and background colors are the default black and white and you do that by hitting d on the keyboard which will change foreground to white and background to black okay the next thing that you want to do is you want to select your marquee tool that's m on the keyboard like so uh, and you want to make sure that it's the elliptical marquee. If you're not seeing the elliptical marquee, then you can just click on the marquee here in your toolbar and click on elliptical marquee like that. Once you have your elliptical marquee, you want to just make a nice big selection like so. And then you want to click in the middle of the selection and then move it until it snaps to the very center, both horizontally and vertically, of your image. Once it has, let go, and you now have it perfectly centered. The next thing that you want to do is you want to hit Control and Backspace to fill that with black on your mask. See how that got filled in? And that will give you a nice vignette for your text. So now we can deselect this by hitting Control D and you can see we now have this nice looking vignette where we can put our text. Okay, now what we wanna do is we wanna grab both of these. Oh, before we do that actually, this is a pretty harsh vignette. We don't want it to be that harsh. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make the opacity of our curves layer at 40%. So let's just select that and make that a four. And now it is 40% and it's a much nicer, smoother, uh, less, intense vignette, perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to grab both of these, like so, holding down shift uh, so that we select both, and then we're going to group them by hitting control G on the keyboard, and they are now a group. We're gonna name this group as background. Okay, like so. There, we now have our background ready. Okay, we can now turn off our background, and the reason why that we're doing that is uh, we're gonna be doing some uh, funky uh, adjustments to the text that we put up here and it's going to affect the entire image and our background image of this money will start looking really funky unless we turn it off until we're ready for it. So we just made our background but we're gonna leave this white background here for a few minutes and uh, once we're done we'll get rid of this background and we'll be completely finished. Okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a new layer here above our background layer and that's where we're gonna do our text. So let's hit T on the keyboard to bring up our text uh, tool and 
uh, just to show you what I'm using here, I'm using Coda Heavy. And again, I have a link in the description below where you can download this font. It's free. Uh, I'm using Coda Heavy. We're using it at 200 points. Um, I've got the kerning here. That's the spacing between letters set to 50. I'm using um, white. It doesn't really matter what color you use. Let's just change this to black for make things easier to see on here. Um, it doesn't matter because we're going to be covering it with something else anyway. Uh, and I'm using all caps. Now you can do this any way that you want. You can use any f font that you want, uh, but this is what I'm using here. Okay, then we're going to click right here and we're going to do uh, pixel magic as I always do. Uh, once we're done with that, we're going to hit the check mark up here and then we're going to go back to our move tool, which is V on the keyboard. We're going to click, we're going to drag, and we're going to put this right in the center of our document. Uh, where are you, center? There's the center there. And then we want the center. Where are you? Snap to the center. Snap, 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 snap. That's close enough. All right, so there we go. There is the pixel magic. Uh, that we want. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to convert this text layer into a smart object named text. Okay, it seems a little weird, but that's what we need to do. So we're going to right click on this layer and we're going to go convert to smart object like so. And then we're going to double click here and we're going to name it text. Okay, so now we have our text as a smart layer. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some layer styles to this smart layer. Okay, the smart object layer. Okay, so let's just go down here to our effects and we will go to bevel and emboss. And here's the bevel and emboss that we're going to be working with. Our style is going to be a stroke emboss. Okay, it's going to be chisel hard, depth of 100. Up is the direction, size is going to be 10, soften is going to be zero. Okay, our angle, we're going to uncheck use global light. We never use that. It's going to be 135 degrees over 40 degrees. The gloss contour that we're using is triple ring. Triple ring is right here. Now, if you don't see ring triple, then you got to go here to the sprocket and then go to... Uh, uh, load or replace contour. No, no. You got to go down here to contours, click on this, and it will say replace current contours with the contours from contours. Click OK, and then you'll see all of these. Then you just want to click on this guy right here, which is your ring triple. Okay, anti alias is unchecked. Highlight mode is going to be screen. The color here is going to be pure white, which is all Fs. Uh, opacity is going to be 80%. Shadow mode is going to be multiply. It's going to be black, which is all zeros. And our opacity here is going to be 70%. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to give it a stroke so that it has something to apply this stroke emboss to. So we're going to click on stroke and our stroke is going to be a size of 15, position of center, blend mode of normal, opacity is 100, overprint is unchecked, fill type is going to be a gradient and the gradient that we are choosing is the base gradient of copper which is right here, this guy, show up copper. There you go. Uh, reverse is unchecked. Align with layer is checked. Style is linear. Angle is 90 degrees. Uh, our scale is going to be 100%. And the last thing that we're going to do is give this a drop shadow. So let's click on drop shadow right here. And our blend mode is going to be multiply. The color here is going to be all black, which is zeros. Our opacity is going to be at 100%. Our angle is going to be at 135. Use global light is unchecked, of course. Distance is going to be at 30. Spread is zero. Size is going to be 20. One. Our contour is going to be the default, which is linear. Anti-alias is unchecked and noise is going to be zero. Layer knocks out drop shadow is checked. Okay, that's all that we need there. We can uncheck that and then we can put this away. Now it looks kind of coppery and nothing really big is going on here, but we haven't even put in the diamonds yet. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a brand new layer. So let's go down here, create a new layer and let's name this diamonds. And this is where we get the cheesy 90s diamond text effect from, okay? We still have our, um, our default black and white here, and that's what we need to create this. So we're going to go up here to filter, and we're going to go to render, and we're going to render some clouds. Boom! There we've got some clouds. Now here's where the magic comes in for making this, these, uh, this cheap 90s diamond effect for text. Okay, we're going to go up here to filter gallery glass. So we're going to go to filter, filter gallery, and we're going to go to glass, which can be found under distort. Okay. And the distortion that we want is 20. Smoothness is going to be one. Texture is going to be tiny lens and scaling is going to be at 100%. Invert is off. If you turn it on, it doesn't really do anything. So we're just going to leave that off. Hit okay. And we now have our diamond ish effect. Now what we have to do is we have to clip our diamonds to our text by holding down alt on the keyboard and Going in between our two layers, you'll see the mouse change into this little square with an arrow. Click there, and now your diamonds are inside 
of your text. Ta-da! The next thing that we need to do is we're going to uh, make these diamonds a little bit brighter. And the way that we're going to do that is by putting in a curves adjustment layer above our diamonds that is also clipped to our text. Okay, so we're going to create a new adjustment layer of curves like so. And we're going to take our uh, this uh, box right here and instead of going down, which just makes things darker, we're going to go to the left until we're about the center. Okay, just like that. Okay, and that's what you're looking for right there. And you see how bright this got? That's what we're looking for. That looks more like that cheap diamond effect. Now, if it's too strong, you can go back. You can go even stronger. But I think somewhere around the center is pretty good. Let's go right about here-ish. This looks pretty good for this particular uh, image. For whatever you're using, you can use some other position. But you want it somewhere near, uh, near the center it usually looks best. So I'm going to go with right about there. Okay, so there we go. Now we need to clip this. So we want to hold down Alt and then we clip. And there it is. It's only affecting now inside our text. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to make this copper line out here. We want to make that look more golden. So we're going to go down here and we're going to put in a new hue saturation layer. Okay, so let's put in a new hue saturation layer. Where are you, hue saturation? Why can't I find you? There you are. Um... Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to just make our hue here. We want to make this 20, okay? And our saturation, we're just going to boost that all the way up to 100. Okay, and you can see that this looks a lot more like gold on the outside of diamonds. Ooh, pretty. Okay, once we have all that, what we want to do is select all of these layers from text all the way up to this hue saturation. So we're going to hold down shift and click and that selects all of them. Okay. And then what we want to do is we're going to turn all of those into a smart object. So we right click and we're going to go to convert to smart object, click, and you can see it changes slightly, but it still looks close enough. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to name this as diamond text because that is what we have just made. Now that we have done this as a smart object, we can turn back on our background. Okay, and you can see everything lines up pretty nicely. We no longer need this white background, so we can throw that away. Uh, and we now have our final looking product. The last thing that we want to do is we want to give our diamonds a little bit of sparkle. Now I have a link in the description below to a uh, tutorial that I did on creating um, star uh, brushes and you can use any of those brushes to complete this effect for the text. Okay, I happen to have one loaded right now under my brush so I can use that anywhere. What you want to do is create a new layer on top. So create a new layer. Let's name this as bling like so and now I have my star brush and I'm just going to add in whoops you want to make sure that white is your foreground so hit X so that white is your foreground and now you can just paint in some uh, some bling Bing, like so, ding, just like this. And it's pretty quick, pretty easy to do this. Uh, just make sure that you put stuff uh, in, in a nice spot where you like it. Uh, and you are pretty much golden, haha, -ha, see what I did there? For creating this effect in Photoshop. And there you have it. Beautiful 90s diamond text effect. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. I do new tutorials every Tuesday. And once again, this is Geekman, signing off for Pixel Magic Tutorials.